Hi, I'm John Valentino, president of John and Bob's Corporation. I'm here with Chip uh, at a garden remodel. I'm a landscape contractor and a landscape architect. And in today's uh, video, we're going to um, dispel all the uh, misunderstandings about applying our product, which is extremely simple. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Chip and I plan to be doing a lot more uh, videos for you. If you like them, please click on like and click on subscribe and click on the bell so that you'll be notified every Sunday when we uh, post our new videos. So we sell the Penetrate in two sizes. This is the 32 ounce size size. It's two 16 ounce containers. Uh, one has bacteria and one has food for the bacteria. And we have to keep them separate. We want to keep them separate because we don't want them feeding on each other until they get into your soil or right before they get into your soil. And when you mix it um, on the label, it uh, recommends four ounces per gallon of water of A and four ounces per gallon of water of B. So that's eight ounces of product. Uh, in a gallon of water, but it, that does not, you don't need to be precise with the water. You can, some people use a hose-in sprayer, and one of the problems they've expressed to me in using a hose-in sprayer is if you're just doing a small area, they put it in the hose-in sprayer and they start spraying, and they haven't gotten to the end yet and all the product is gone. So you can set it to use a lot more water than that. It doesn't matter how much water you use. The water is just a vehicle to, uh, to spread it. There's no such thing as too much water, no such thing as not enough water. You just need to get the product spread out in the area, you know, the right amount. So this would cover uh, 4,000 square feet. So you would want to, you know, measure that area out and make sure you get the 32 ounces in the 4,000 square feet or less. There's no such thing as over applications. Just figure out the easiest way to apply it. And it's really very simple. we would usually put on the penetrate liquid uh, biotiller after the blend. And then we'd try to time uh, the application of the penetrate liquid biotiller so that we don't do a lot of work after. And if we do a lot of work after, then maybe we do another application. Penetrate is uh, really an effective product that um, makes the whole package of John and Bob's, the soil improving parts of John and Bob's, makes it complete. And it's beneficial bacteria, liquid humic acid, saponin, and it has kelp, and, and then some other uh, minor things in it, but those are the major ingredients in it. And the beneficial bacteria is the lowest form of life, so what we're trying to do is kickstart this process of building life in the soil. And it's an important part of uh, a regimen that I recommend for any pots. Uh, what we're doing is we're using uh, a semi-dwarf citrus, uh, two are tangos, and two are owari satsuma mandarin oranges, which are two excellent um, varieties of mandarin orange. And then uh, we prune them up so they're grown more as a small tree. And then we're going to plant annuals uh, underneath here. Now you probably know with containers, they leach nutrients and you end up lots of times with deficient soil, especially if you want good production on the citrus and then um, heavy bloom on the annuals. So in addition, as soon as we put the uh, blend on this, then I'm going to spray over the top with um, uh, with penetrate, which is the humic acid, the, the beneficial bacteria, the kelp, and then, and the saponin. And then um, after we do that, we're going to plant the annuals. We're going to uh, put just a thin layer of mulch. And then since I'm planting, I'll probably spray over the top one more time after the annuals are planted. And it can get on the leaves as long as the annuals are pretty well developed. Uh, so then we'll just spray over the leaves and the soil. And we've got a recipe right there with the blend 
and the penetrate for growing in containers year after year. Even if you grow tomatoes in it, you don't have to change the soil. As you can see, I'm using a backpack sprayer. You can use a handheld sprayer. You can get a big bucket and just dump it in there. Lots of different ways uh, you can put it on. I find this way very convenient. You can see that I'm spraying with the nozzle on. You can take the nozzle off, which will allow you to uh, do it faster and get more out. We've got an area here of um, a type of raphaelepis called minor, some uh, ajuga, and some uh, hydrangeas, tree hydrangeas and shrub hydrangeas. The tree hydrangeas are white and the shrub hydrangeas are you know, pink or whatever color they come out based on the pH of the soil. And we can just use this penetrate like this and do it heavier and faster and go, go around the root uh, zones. And this will again infuse it with life, get that bacteria in there so that these can thrive. So these tree hydrangeas are beautiful white tree hydrangea and um, this is a garden you know, that was existing after about 20 years. It was, um, a lot of it was taken out and now we're rebuilding it. And we've used these tree hydrangeas throughout and it's, it's one of those yards where you've got existing trees so you have, it's hard to know where you have sun, where you have shade um, and we have both and so tree hydrangeas in our climate um, don't want a lot of half, hot afternoon sun and most of them are close enough to the building or, or a large tree to where they'll be protected from a hot afternoon sun but just to make sure I'm going to boost them with, uh, with soil builders the blend and the penetrate so that they can tolerate heat and sun better than if the soil was deficient in life so we're going to maximize the life in the soil and that's the way to allow uh, trees that are maybe getting a little more sun than they like to, to thrive in those conditions. Hey there friends, thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the bell. Want to learn more about our products? Then head over to our website www.johnandbobs.com